Hi, Alex from LPA Power here and welcome to the show where we discuss how to translate car technology from real life into Lego. Today we discover what those fancy one-way clutches are all about. A one-way clutch is basically a freewheel ratchet mechanism that allows rotational movement in one direction but not the other. The reason we want this in our LEGO vehicles are the same as on a bicycle. We want to achieve a freewheeling effect when the engine stops working, so the car can coast without destroying gears and axles in the drivetrain. In a normal car, we have a clutch that gradually engages the drive. We do not need that with pneumatic engines, since they have torque from 0 RPMs onward, and can start a vehicle from a dead stop. But the pneumatic engines, as well as the LEGO electric and power function motors, offer too much resistance to be turned by the drivetrain when the car is coasting on inertia. In my early runs with the Mustang, without a one-way clutch, every time I disengaged the air supply to let the car coast, gears snapped, teeth were bent or axles twisted. To prevent that from happening, I made this simple but effective device. You can see very clearly in this video how the inertia of the spinning drivetrain alone makes the clutch skip as it's supposed to. Here, in a more detailed study, we see how the axle connectors skip over the pins when the clutch is supposed to freewheel, but engage when the engine starts turning faster than the rest of the drivetrain. LEGO models do not need engine braking nor do they need a minimum idle RPM level to start the car, so a clutch like this is perfectly fine. For my engines, I have developed two housings, one for the inline engines and one for the V engines. You can find instructions for both types of housings in the links down below. All LPA power engines ship with a pin part of the clutch and all have attachment points for the clutch housings. I'm looking forward to your feedback and next time we have a special Unimook episode where we fix the front steering issue and I comment about the model in general. See you next time.